was um, exhausting to leave the house. I, I had forgotten how to pack. I've forgotten what not house looked and felt like. And it was very stressful to make a show with other people without being able to be around other people. So we all isolated within the crew, driving our own cars, staying in our own hotel rooms, eating outside, kind of distant from each other. And I remember the first night in our Death Valley shoot, we kind of broke the rules and ate within like three feet of each other off on the, uh, the tails of our cars. And it was just exciting to like look at other people and, and be around them in that sense. The top moment on the show was really emotional for me. It was totally unexpected. I got a lot more out of the show than I signed up for. We were in a place called the Great Dismal Swamp, which doesn't sound fun. Uh, the word dismal being the key. And this is a region in Northern North Carolina and Southern Virginia that used to be much bigger than it is, like most natural places. This was a place that George Washington literally tried to drain back during the founding of his country to monetize and turn into like cotton fields because our founders lacked imagination as much as they had it. And this was a place that many black people fled to and through. So um, I got to visit this sacred ground and see it from the outside with an ancestor of one of the men who used to work uh, in this swamp. And uh, they pointed out this island right in front of us and gave me a chance to just approach alone. And as soon as I set foot on it, the sun came up. And I was really overcome with emotion and just like marveling at folks who wanted so much to make it that they made it here. My highest point of pride in this show is that we showcase a lot of folks who we don't expect to see as outdoorsy, as outdoorsy folks. And my own image of an outdoorsman is a man. And he's white and he's got a grizzled beard and a long stick and he's conquering something. Point being, there are others. <laughs> we all need nature 